That's the end. The house is boarded up. Must be the place. Bloody footprints. A child's. Must have been hiding in that chest. This woman was killed. Left in the open without dignity. Huh. An Athenian spear tip broke off in her ribs. A note was left behind. A warning for Bodarkis. He was paying this woman to keep quiet. About what? Wooden dolls. A mother and child. One engraved with the letter M and the other K else to find here. I need to speak with that strange woman. And what did the Mystios find? A body. A woman. She was killed by an Athenian spear. This is all? There was a letter from Podarkis. Said he'd kill them both if she broke her silence. Both? Why kill a child unless... Oh, it was his? Shh. They could be listening. Now tell me, quietly. What else did you find? The dolls. Engraved with the letters K and M. M is for mother. You asked who I worked for. The little doll with the K? The child was Kira. Yes, yes, which means? By the gods. Podarkis is Kira's pater. Very wise, Mistyos. Very wise indeed. Kira needs to know. She'll never believe you. Never. Her whole life she hunts the man who sent Athenians to kill her mother in front of her terrified eyes. But the gods spared little Kira. She escaped. How do you know so much? I was there, Mistyos. I protected the little one. The Athenians were so busy trying to kill me, Kira slipped right past their blades. You were involved in this? My name was Otonia. I was a servant for Protarchus. What? Night after night, Kira's mother came to the house. Little one wanted to meet her father. Podarkis made me send her away. But she kept coming. So Podarkis sent me to her house with a note. The warning. She didn't listen. Podarkis sent me back to her house, this time with Athenian soldiers. Kira needs to know Podarkis is her father. But I won't confront her until I have proof. The woman came to Podarkis' house one night, begged me to give him the doll Kira made for him. If Podarkis had it, he might have kept it somewhere. Only the gods would know. I will find this doll. Now the Mistyos knows who she works for. The rebels should know too. If 
Podarkis hid that doll somewhere in his house. I'm going to find it. Darkies kept the doll Kira made for him. She engraved it with a letter P for Pater. <sighs> Could Kira have known all along? The rebels deserve the truth as well. Blood is everything to some people. They could abandon her if they knew Podarkis was her father. The Athenians are weak. Now we strike Podarkis where he'll hurt most. His kidneys? <laughs> mm. Delos keeps its wealth in one place, under constant guard. We steal it, and the soldiers will go unpaid, unfed, and unarmed. Podarkis will be vulnerable. Then we can stick our blades in between his ribs. Feed his liver to the dogs. Before we start feeding organs to animals, can you get me to the nation's purse? Our spies have located it in Miltiadis' fort. I'll have Praxos gather the troops. It's best if it's just the two of us. Easier to sneak in and out undetected. Good thinking. Let's move. That shipment of supplies is... Where's Kira? She's... Miss me already, Mistios? Kira, there's something I need to tell you. That look on your face, so serious. Sit, relax, drink some wine. I didn't come to drink wine. I came to tell you and your men... Podarkis is your father. What? Her father? That's a lie! This had better be some joke, Mistios. Impossible! Is it true? The daughter of Podarkis? We trusted you! I trusted you, Cassandra. And you disgraced me in front of my troops. Leave! I can't look at you right now! I can't even look at myself. For Mykonos. They really don't like you shedding blood on Delos. <laughs> the priests are so terrified of desecrating the sacred grounds of Apollo. Women about to give birth are sipped over to Mykonos. What happens if they don't make it to shore? Both the babies. My friend. You won't get far. Ah! 
This fort has seen better days. We should have spent some of that silver on upkeep. Kira's going to want to see this. Cassandra, there you are. Good news, I hope. When the people of Dilos discover Podarkis lost every coin of their nation's treasure, they're going to rip him to pieces. You weakened Athens' grip over Delos, exposed Podarkis, and made way for a Spartan alliance. I could kiss you. I don't see anything holding you back. <sighs> you breathed life into me. If only you'd arrived on Delos before Thaletas. These are dangerous times. I'd hate to meet Hades without having tasted those lips. <laughs> Very poetic for someone covered in blood. I like it. We should probably move. They're going to come looking for us. I don't think I've ever really said thank you for coming here. You've given us hope. I'll go back to the hideout. But if you keep this up, Podarkis is as good as dead. I may finally know peace. I'm looking for Kira. Not here. Gone hunting. Once you're with her, she said. I'm in. Where is she? Praying to the gods for a good hunt. The altar of Artemis, east from here, on the north bit of Tavern Point. Thanks. Yeah. Keen-eyed Artemis, guide my bow. I pray to you with all my heart that Cassandra doesn't scare off the animals with her heavy footsteps. I thought I was being quiet. If that was you being quiet, we'll have nothing but trampled grass to eat for dinner. Nice altar. The flowers remind me of sweeter days. But your real concern should be how skilled are you with that bow? I've seen you hunt. You don't need my help. Oh, I bet you capture any prey you lock those sharp eyes with. Sounds like a challenge. Come, the Ibex is swift. We're not going to catch any by standing and chatting. Isn't it beautiful? It is. Now 
show me how you use that bow. <laughs> Same for me. I started by catching and cooking rodents. <laughs> they make a good soup. But look how far you've come. How far we've come. <laughs> Artemis smiles on you. Tell Artemis I've got my eye on someone else. <laughs> Don't make him jealous. There's no Ibexes here. <laughs> Artemis smiles on you. Tell Artemis I've got my eye on someone else. <laughs> Don't make him jealous. My people will be well fed, and the gods will have their sacrifice, thanks to you. You're a great hunter. Why did you actually want me here? Don't be naive. There's something between us, even though I know I shouldn't act on it. Because you love Thaletas. And I always will. You... but you just said... You've been of great help to me, Cassandra. And for that I'm thankful. There is something between us. But it died when you gave me Pater's doll in front of my people. I should gather the spoils of the hunt and get back to my people. Take some with you. It's as much yours as it is mine. Thanks. But your people need it more than I do. Spartans! Many brothers were lost to the Athenian dogs. But we are... Cassandra, I didn't think you'd come here after calling my plan a suicide mission. And miss your speech. Never. Athenians give speeches. Spartans give orders. Your men are brave, but they won't be enough. We need those reinforcements. They'd never get here alive. The Athenian navy is too powerful, and our ship is at the bottom of the sea. Mine is it? You'd confront them in open waters? Not sure if you're brave or just mad. The Adresti and I have faced greater challenges than a few Athenian ships. You fight like Achilles reborn. But even you couldn't defeat the entire navy. But if I sink enough ships, the Spartans can get through. There's something else. A helmet was left on board my ship. It was my butters. I'll sink the ships. But I'm not making any promises about a helmet. You've been here long enough. How many ships protect Delos? You'll never sink them all. We just need to punch a hole in their patrols, enough to send them scrambling. So the helmet from your butter means a lot to you? It does. He pried it from his butter on the battlefield of Thermopylae. The sea's a big place. Where did your ship sink, exactly? Somewhere off the northern coast of Mykonos. We could see Miltiadis' fort as we swam to shore. The sharks will have full bellies when I'm done.
You're back! I overheard fishermen telling tales of the Adrestia cutting through the sea. The Athenian navy is scrambling. Ah! Let their blood feed the sharks. Don't thank me yet. Your father's helmet is gone. I can't even remember his face anymore. That helmet was all I had left of him. But you broke the navy. That will be my vengeance. You have heart, but your troops are your family now. The Athenians will want to kill all of us for what I've done. Then we need to strike first. Exactly. If that's the plan, we attack their commanders. Athenians are sheep. Kill the shepherd, and the flock will flee. March on them, and they'll see you coming. I work better alone. I'll take care of these commanders. You're going straight for their throats. Still, leave some Athenian blood for me. I need to know where to find them. Kira's spies tracked all three of them. One guards the quarry, one's camped nearby. And the third? Him, we don't know. I want names, Thaletas. This Andros commands the Athenian elite guard. Polemion is their strategist. And the last, a general named Neoclis, is missing. When the commanders are dead and more Spartans arrive, there will be plenty of blood for both of us. Eagle Bearer, my name is Herodianos, second to Thaletas in battle. The dogs of war howl for blood, and thanks to you, Sparta now howls back. Sounds like a lot of howling. Fight with us! Together we'll run our shields through their skulls and spears through their hearts! I'd be honored to fight with Sparta. To battle! A bad day for Athens! A glorious day for Sparta! Come <laughs> on. 
There is no victory without eternal war. The cosmos guide me. Stay 
back! Don't do victory! Guards! Kill her! in your throat. Even if you kill me, you will lose even better. We are everywhere. There isn't a rock you can hide under where we won't find you. You are the snakes who hide. I'm going to bury you so deep, only Hades will find you. People are happy. As they should be! For the first time since Ares cursed us with war, the Delos Islands know freedom! But where's Kira? It's not like her to miss a chance to drink with her troops. I haven't seen her celebrate with her troops since you revealed her past. She's gone to send her father to the ferryman alone. If Podarkis were my family, I'd have tied him to a tree and left him to rot. You and many others on Delos. But this is still more celebration than funeral. There's wine to drink and tales to tell. <laughs> Make the tale great. The troops deserve it. Even Thaletas. Indeed he does. He's just up the stairs that way. 
I've been meaning to tell him how I lost this eye. And the crew? Ready to sail? On your order! But first, let the crew enjoy a drink and a song. You deserve one too. Gloom. You shall wander, obscure, even in the house of Hades, flitting among the sad of the dead. You shouldn't have to say goodbye alone. I'm glad I'm not alone. I've wanted to watch him burn for so long, and now that it's happened, I thought I'd feel peace. And what do you feel? I used to feel vengeful. Now, empty. He's gone, but you're still here. The people need you. If you don't protect them, there will be another Podarkis to come and take his place. They don't need me. You made sure none of them would ever trust me again. We all have complicated pasts, Kira. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Your family, your real family, is celebrating tonight in your honor. We're rebels with nothing left to rebel against. That's not much to start the family on. But it's more than I ever had. You're right. Thank you. What will you do next? Mykonos will need to rebuild. Then that's what we'll do. But not to put it back as it was, not as Pater wanted. We'll make this place a new home for our people to be free. To live good lives. Kira... He's gone. Your rebels are waiting. They're celebrating. <sighs> Let's celebrate with them. Goodbye, Pater. There you are. You look happy. I said goodbye to the past with your help. Now we welcome what the fates will bring. You were there when Kira needed you. You're an ally to Sparta and to our islands. I wanted to be there for Kira. She needed me. You needed me. Right. Well, did you hear about Taletas? Sparta is calling him home. They intend to make him a general. But I'm staying here. Since you showed us Kira's past, it's made us closer. Closer. He told me his place is here, on our islands, rebuilding our home and our love. You are the celebration, and all the prosperity the gods will bring. The gods gave me more than enough. Any prosperity is for the people of the islands, not us. Thank you, Cassandra. We owe you our lives. <laughs> You look ready to go. Podarkis is gone. Taletas and Kira have their islands, and I have other targets to hit. You are victorious. Not that I ever doubted it. Why not say goodbye? A rousing speech to get the blood flowing. Let's say goodbye. Sheridan, settle down, settle down! Cassandra has something she'd like to say. Dillians! Today, you have your freedom. So celebrate! 
Let Dionysos fill your cup and the muses sing your song. And now a toast to Cassandra, to victory! A fine speech, though I'm not sure many of these rebels can imagine a free Demos. I think they liked it. Of course, of course! Who wouldn't? I'll round up the crew. See you back at the ship? Socrates! The rebels are hunting Athenians. What are you doing here? I came to teach, as I always do, but don't worry. I sail on a merchant ship set for Attica in the morning. Wise as always. Thanks for coming to see us off. Speaking of being off, Varnavas, are we ready to sail? The crew are in fine spirits, if a little hungover. But the ship is ready. Good. I only wish we weren't leaving Kira and Thaletas alone to rebuild what's been destroyed by the rebellion. Are any of us truly alone who have our friends and allies beside us? Exactly! Do you remember what you told me when you first set foot on these sands? I said we came here to help people. That's what we set out to do, and that's precisely what you did! They don't call you the mighty Mystios for nothing! <laughs> who calls me that? He does. Now then, it's time we give the crew some orders. Where do we sail to next? I won't rest until I know my family is safe. We do what we've always done. Follow their trail until I've brought everyone together again. 